Hello everyone. Um, in this video we will discuss uh, the two variable functions and three variables functions. So what is a two variable function? If we call it z, it's a function of two variables x and y. So if we assign x and y value to in, in this function, it will give us a z value, right? And similarly, uh, the x and y is from a set uh, in two space and the three variable function is a function that where x y and z are assigned and they give us a unique value uh, you can call that a g or you can call it any value and the three variables x y and z are from the set from any set in the three space so if you go to the exercise 13.1 the first question they are asking you is to find out the values of this function for particular values of x and y. So if this is the function x square, y minus 1, and if they ask you to find out what is your, when x is 2 and y is 1, just replace the values for x two and for y one and then calculate this this is four times one is four and minus one gives you three similarly if they ask you to find out the value of this one when x is a b and y is a minus b then you simply replace for x a b and for y a minus b you can open them up or you can just multiply them. So that would be a cube b squared and that would be a squared b cube minus 1. So similarly they can give you any different values of x and y. You have to just replace those values with x and y and that will give you a unique value for every point x, y and for every point x, y. Uh, in question number four, you are given this function in one variable and they are changing this one variable function into two variables x and y. So what they're saying is find out when g is x, y, which, which means instead of x over here, you replace this term x, y. So this becomes g of x, comma, y. g is the function of x, y, that's why we write it x, comma, y. And for the x, we will replace this value x, y. So we have x, y, and then sine x, y. We do not write this as g of x, y, because g is a function, and it's a function of x and y. So instead of writing x dot y as x comma y, because now g is a function, which is a function of x and y both. Right? Similarly, we can replace... Again, this g would become a function of x and y, and the x will be replaced by this number. You can write this down by x divided by y sine x over y. So in question six, you are given g is a function of u and v, and u is a function of x, y, and v is also a function of x, y. Then you are given g, which is a function of x, y, is this one. v is given x cube, x square, y cube, and v is given uh, pi x, y. So we can replace this function into, instead of writing uh, u and v, we will write the function of u and v, which is this one. And then you can replace uh, for in, in this function x, y, for y we have here pi x, y, sine, and for x we have x square y cube, and for y again we can use pi x, y. So we can write this g now 
is a function of u and v is equals to pi x y sine and that is x4 and then x5 you can write down pi over here and then x6 into 2 is sorry y6 uh, into 6 plus 1 is 7 so now g which is a function of u and v and u is a function of x and y this gives us the final answer question from question from 17 to 20 has the similar uh, um, pattern is of two variables but they in that case they are uh, functions of three variables so you I, I hope that you can solve those ones the question number 21 and 22 are similar so I'll just solve question number 22 which says that you are given a function of four variables now and they're not three variables but four variables and you have to find this values uh, this value so you can just substitute the value uh, minus 2 for u 2 for v 0 for lambda in pi by 4 for the uh, value of pi so e power minus 2 plus 2 cos of 0 and tangent of pi by 4 e power 0 cos power 0 is 1 tangent power pi by 4 is again 1 so what are we left with e to the power 0 or anything to the power 0 is 1 so this gives us value of 1 and the part b of this question is that uh, f of x1 up to xn is given by this formula x1 square plus x2 square plus up to xn square and they're asking you to find out f of x uh, f of 1 2 3 up to n so if we substitute the values we get 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus up to n square and according to the formula of sum this one is written as n into n plus 1 and then 2n plus 1 divided by 6 which is a formula in the sequences and series chapter you can check that out uh, from question 23 to 26 they're asking you to sketch uh, the graph of this function so how do you sketch that thing the sketch the domain of this function is the domain of the function is that inside the natural log we always have either uh, always have, always have positive values so this value over here should be greater than zero if we take the one to the other side we get a minus x square minus y square is equal to minus one and if you multiply by negative the inequality is reversed and that becomes this one which you can see is the equation of circle the equation of circle is of this form so if you make an equation of, this is an equation of circle so you draw the equation of circle and since this is less than one it means every all the points are inside this circle and there is strictly less it means that we have to draw a dotted lines means they, they, the solution is not on the circle but inside the circle so that's why you have to make it a dotted line now in this equation the function is given as square root of x square plus y square minus 4 so the domain is everything that is inside the square root should be either 0 or positive so if you take the 4 to the other side, so that is x squared plus y squared is greater than equals to 4. And 4 we can write as a square of 2. So that's again an equation of a circle with x squared plus y squared is equals to 2 whole square. So if the radius is 2, so you draw a circle of radius 2. Because it's not a strict inequality, if there is an equal to sign in it, it means you have to dark the circle. And now they say that all the points should be either 8, 2 or greater than 2 so the greater than 2 points are all the points outside this circle on the circle or outside this circle now in this equation the function is 1 divided by x minus y whole square so the domain is all the points 
except those points where the dis the denominator is zero. So we exclude all the points which are x minus y squared is equals to one, which gives you sorry x is equals to zero. So all the points which gives this a zero will be excluded and the rest of the points are included. So if we solve this one, this gives us y is e x is equals to y square, which is a parabola in this format. So we exclude this parabola, which means this para the, all the points on the parabola is not included. The rest of the plane, all the points on the plane are included only the points on the parabola are not included. In this equation, you can see that the function is natural log of x times y. So the domain would be all the points where x, y, a are, uh, and the multiplication of x, y is greater than zero. So this means that this is positive or greater than zero when x is positive and y is positive. So if x and y both are positive, this is positive and when both are negative when x is less than zero and y is less than zero this is the case so on the x y plane what are the quadrants where both are positive so here both are positive in the first quadrant means all the points in the first quadrant is in the domain of this function and all the points in the third quadrant where x and y both are negative would give you the domain of the function now in question number 27 and 28, they're asking you to find out the domain, but write that down in words. So the function given is x e to the power minus square root of y plus 2. We can write the function in this format, x divided by e to the power square root y plus 2. Now the domain would be anything where y is greater than or equals to 2. So y plus 2 is greater than or equals to 2 because this can be either 0 inside the square root or positive value. So y plus 2 is greater than 0, which means y is greater than or equals to 2. In other words, you can write this as y is equals to 2 and y is greater than 2. So in words, if you want to say that thing, all the points, they are x, y plane. So in 2 space, above 2 or on the line this one so if they either are they are on this line y is equals to 2 or above this line y is equals to 2. in this uh, part it says that this uh, function is square root 25 minus x square minus y square minus z square so for the domain this has to be either greater than or either have positive or equals to 0 so 25 minus x square minus y square minus z square is greater than or equals to 0 take the 25 to the other side so we have all the all the terms in negative so if you multiply by negative the inequality will be reversed and there becomes this type now you can see that this is a an equation of a sphere so all the points are um, below sorry so everything is below this um, sphere or on the sphere right or uh, you can say instead of below you can say inside the sphere right so instead of below we can say uh, inside or on the sphere in this part it's e to the power x y and z so we can give all the values to x, y, z, so you can say that the all the points in three space, we can take all the points from uh, in the three space as a domain. In question number 28, uh, part A, you are given the square root of 4 minus x squared divided by y squared plus 3. So in the denominator, it cannot be 0 because y squared would always give you a positive value and adding a positive value with the 3 would only give you something positive. So it cannot be zero. So we're looking at the above one, which is square root. Squ inside the square root, ha you have to have positive value or zero values. So four minus x squared is greater than or equals to zero. If you take the four to the other side, that becomes minus x squared is greater than minus four. And if you multiply by a negative, this becomes x squared is less than or equals to four. Four we can write it as the square of two. So 
according to the inequality property you can write this as minus 2 x is greater than or equal to minus 2 and less than or equal to 2 which means these are any these are equations of x is equal to plus minus 2 so what are what is the uh, word wordly explanation of the domain is all the points in x in two space which are between the vertical lines x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 2. So the y value could be anything but the x values would be minus 2 and x is equal to 2. So this is x is equal to 2, this is x is equal to minus 2. So all the values that you can take in this portion would be the domain of this function. In this part, uh, the function is given as natural log of y minus 2x. So the domain should be everything inside the natural log is greater than 0. It cannot be 0, it cannot be negative, it should be greater than 0. If you solve this one, this gives us y is greater than or equal to 2x. So all the points above the line y is equal to 2x. So if you have a line y is equal to 2x, y is greater than 2x means above the line y is equals to 2x. Uh, the final part is uh, in three in 3D in um, three points. So x, y, z divided by x plus y plus z. So the domain is all the points x, y, z except when this one is zero. So we exclude the points or we can say that x plus y plus z is not equals to zero or you can say that this is equals to zero but these points are excluded. So you can say that all the points in three space but not the x, y, z is equal to zero plane. So all the points on this plane is excluded in the domain of the function. And the rest of the question will come in the next video. Thank you very much.